How many times have you seen something you really wanted for your home, but it was just too expensive? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to find or DIY similar items all from your local thrift store. I thought it would be a fun challenge to go on a hunt for similar items I've been stocking online and to show you all that you don't need lots of money to make your home look more luxurious. For example, this gorgeous gold frame mirror would look luxurious in a Parisian style home. Although it's made from wood, its ornate details and gold brassy finish gives it a high-end look. As you can see, the similar ones online are going for over $15,000. Of course, they are made of much more better quality material, but for something that looks such similarity to this one, it's something that you just can't pass up for just $15. And here's my mother with her obsession with vacuums. I spotted this enormous floor lamp, I believe from a Target collection. It's definitely a good deal for $15. However, I passed up on it and went straight for this gem, a vintage antique floor lamp with such ornate details and features. It just really stuck out to me more than the other one. And when I found these vintage style Edison bulbs in an amber glass tint, it was so convenient to find both at the same time. This wooden block automatically gave me very modern Scandinavian vibes. Would look perfect as a side table and for only $5, I had to pick it up. The vase and glassware aisle will always be the best and cheapest section to shop in for your home. The high-end DIY antique vessels have been trending lately, so I'll be doing a super easy DIY with these later on. The key is to find oddly shaped vases that you know will make a statement. You can easily paint these to fit in any design style. I was pulled in by this round and stout vase that definitely would make a great looking piece on any shelf. And if you're in need of a pendant light, be sure to look for these wooden salad bowls. And if you have the proper drilling tools, they would look great hung over top of a kitchen island or a table. And be sure to check out the picture frame aisle. You can always find hidden gems there. Unfortunately, I did not find anything, so I decided to stop there and check out with the things that I already had. And for the first luxury item, here is a gold floor lamp from Anthropology, priced at $498. As you can see, it has a round glass globe and some curvature at the top. This lamp reminded me so much of this antique floor lamp I picked up. It has similar curves except with more details. And of course, it's not in a shiny gold finish like the one from Anthropology, but it's because I believe it is a true vintage piece. I did my research and found this exact floor lamp and very similar other ones being sold for over $300 on Etsy and eBay. I believe it's originated from the 1920s. So this here is a prime example of how you can find great vintage pieces thrifted for cheap to design your home. I was lucky to find this cool Edison bulb as well that will complement the lamp. I'm also using this large round bulb to replicate the round glass globe as the one seen on Anthropology. I will say that this is my thrifted treasure of the day. Next up are these minimalistic white glass vases 
or now the more popular term, vessels. However, these would be considered mini vessels because vessels are usually very large. You can find these matte white vases from Restoration Hardware. It says they are referenced from the 1960s with a textured matte surface. One vase retails for $145. This vase is the vase I found with similar shape, round and tapered to the top. This one I believe is meant to hold a tea light candle of some sort, which is pretty cool. So for this quick and easy DIY, you will just need white paint. Chalk paint works best, however you can use any paint you'd like because we're going to be adding baking soda to the mixture. The baking soda will create a very matte finish to the vase. I just add enough to create a thick paste consistency. Mix it well and then apply thin coats to any vase. Let it completely dry between each coat and feel free to use your brush to make any more texture and imperfections to make the vase more unique. And there you have it, a modern and chic mini vessel for only $4. And our next piece is from Amber Interiors. Amber is a interior designer with her own home decor line similar to Studio McGee. This raffia woven basket in black is so chic but is priced at $200 online. I'm so glad I found inspiration from this site because I've had this woven basket for a while now that's just been sitting in a corner. I found it at a Goodwill a while back for only $5 and I grabbed it because of its natural woven texture but I do not like the purple at all. So with a little black spray paint, I'm going to be transforming this basket into something more appealing for my home. As you saw, I'm using Krylon's matte black spray paint. However, I do recommend a different spray paint. Perhaps a more ultra matte spray paint or chalk paint would work best so you don't have any sheen left when it's finished. I applied several coats until it was opaque and of course letting it completely dry in between coats. The Amber Interiors basket is handmade in Africa and I'd like to think this one is as well. I'm not completely sure but I think it's a spot on replica as the one seen on Amber Interiors and it turned out perfect. Our last piece is inspired by Serena and Lily, which is known for its chic, high-end, coastal-style furniture and home decor, such as this sun-bleached pine nightstand for $898. And as much as I love this minimal and chic nightstand, I could never pay that much money for a piece of wood. Like this one that I found from Goodwill for $5. I'm going to try my best to replicate the wood tones as seen on Serena and Lily. I would have kept it in its natural wooden state. However, I wanted this piece to look more finished as if it's an actual furniture piece and not just a wooden block. First, I'll be staining the wood in the Golden Oak by Minwax. I have tried this concoction a few times on some wood furniture and I've always fell in love with the finish. First, I stain the wood with a dark wood stain and then I go over top of it with a whitewash finish. 
The whitewash mixture is just one part of paint to two parts of water and I apply it and wipe it away almost immediately. Whitewashing is a technique used to lighten your wood furniture without actually losing its wood grain and using this technique and staining before whitewashing leaves the wood in almost this weathered whitewash finish that I love. Once it was completely dry, I went in with the polyurethane spray in clear satin to give it a more finished look. This stuff works so well because it's so easy and it goes on very thinly and smooth and it dries very quickly in between coats as well. Added a few books inside as the one seen on Serena and Lily and a little vase at the top and although mine is very smaller in size, I believe it is a very good dupe. And for fun, I created a mock-up receipt to show the items I purchased and its retail total cost of $1,741. But of course, I only paid $33. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And until next time, happy thrifting!